Hey, today on Hostess Coach, we're going to be making a delicious and easy homemade cornbread. There is no reason to buy a mix when cornbread is so easy to make from scratch, and this recipe is really yummy. So let's get started. I'm going to start with my dry ingredients. So I have a cup of cornmeal. I have a cup of all-purpose flour. I'm going to put two teaspoons of baking powder in our dry ingredients here. So let's go one, two, and I'm gonna put a little bit of salt. We're gonna put a half a teaspoon of salt in here. Just gonna use regular good old table salt, half a teaspoon. There we go, I'm gonna give that a quick little stir. Get that all mixed up together. Now you could make this gluten-free by using gluten-free all-purpose flour, no problem would work just fine in this recipe. Okay, we've got our dry ingredients all mixed, so we'll move on to our wet ingredients. And I'm gonna start with um, two eggs. They happen to be room temperature. So we got two eggs I'm going in. Ooh, whoops. That doesn't get to go in. No, no, uh, no shells. Give that a quick look little whisk, whisk up our eggs, and then I have a half a cup of milk going in. Give that a quick little stir. I'm gonna use a little squirt of honey. I don't like the cornbread too sweet because I like to put honey butter on top, but I will put a little squirt of honey, maybe a tablespoon or two. And then I have another secret ingredient here, one package of unsweetened applesauce I'm gonna, I'm gonna use for moisture and for sweetness. Because you'll notice that we really don't have any oil in this, re in this recipe. Another little secret ingredient to make it nice and moist, a half a cup of Greek yogurt. So I'm gonna put that in. And this happens to be, um, this, I think, this is fat free. You can use any kind you want. Actually, I don't think it's fat free. It's full, it's full fat, actually. Take that back. Thinking about what I have in my fridge. And it is not fat free. But you could use fat free if you if you wanted to. But I'm gonna give that a stir. Make sure our yogurt is nice and mixed in there. And our applesauce. Because this is gonna be so delicious. Yum. Now back here in my pan, I have a cast iron skillet here that's warming up. Now you could do this in the oven too, but if I did it in the oven, you couldn't see. So I'm just gonna put a little squirt of um, avocado oil in the pan because it has a high smoke point than the butter. And I'm gonna put a little bit, maybe a teaspoon of butter and let that get all nice and melted while we finish up here. And then I will, um, pan will be nice and warm. Again, like while your oven is preheating, you could put your pan in the oven, but I'm doing it on the cooktop just so you guys can see. And then I'm going to mix here all our things together. Have a little bit of melted butter going in. Yum. Doesn't this look delicious already? Yeah. Okay, those are all my things here. So I'm going to mix just until it's incorporated our wet ingredients and, and our dry. And then we are ready to go. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so delicious. And because I like a little bit of texture in my cornbread, I'm adding a can of corn. You don't have to add that much. You don't have to add the corn at all. I just happen to like to have texture in my cornbread. So you can add frozen corn, frozen, no problem. You can put it in, it can be thawed or not. I've done it every way, depending on time when I'm making it, if I have time, if I pulled it out in time. But I happen to have a can of corn in the pantry, so I just grabbed it. So there we go. We have our cornbread ready to go, making sure I don't have any pockets of flour before I dump it in our hot pan. And then we'll put it in the oven and bake it probably 30 minutes or so. I would check it depending how hot your oven is and how hot your pan gets. Um, there we go, look at that. And you can see the baking powder already doing its thing. So we've got our pan back here. 
Butter's getting a little bit brown. I'm gonna swirl it around so my cornbread doesn't stick once it's done. Yum. And you know what? I'll do this over here. Let me put my pan over here so you guys can see. But it is, it is hot. Okay, so there we go. Butter brown slightly. And I'm gonna put in our cornbread. Now you could, I guess, if you were camping, probably cook this just like this on a campfire, but I'm gonna put it in the oven. And because we like jalapeno in our cornbread, but not everyone does, I have one jalapeno, not too big, that I just diced up and I'm gonna put it on half of it here. And if I was sure about my audience and everyone loved it, I would just mix it in the batter. But I usually do it like this because some people like it, some people don't. Our son didn't, doesn't like it. So I always leave some for him that is not with no jalapeno. So there you go, I'll leave a few toward the top here so people that don't like it can see which side of the pan has the jalapeno. <laughs> and there we go, easy peasy. So I'll put this in the uh, in the oven like like I said till uh, it gets till a toothpick or a fork knife comes out clean. And you want to be careful with that because I don't like it too dry. So um, check it you know before it's it's all the way there because I like to pull it out when it still has a little bit of moisture left. So um, depends how you like it, but that's how I like it a little bit moist in the middle. Um, and then I'm gonna make a little bit of honey butter to go with this. So just. Uh, a half a stick or a stick, depends how many people you're serving, um, with a little bit of honey, mix it together, maybe a pinch of salt, and boom, honey butter, just like Marie Callender's. Yum, that was always our favorite part, right, was the honey butter and the cornbread. So this is a perfect side dish for chili, which we, um, you can watch the show on chili. We just made turkey chili too. So cornbread and chili, delicious, easy, quick, and everything is better homemade. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time here on Hostess Coach.